Okay, best new thing in the world today. This is the least annoying thing you will hear today about the freaking presidential turkey part, and I know you're sick of the whole thing. But we do have a new thing that nobody knows about it that we found in the archives that is amazing. Depending on who you ask, different sources credit different presidents for starting the presidential turkey pardon tradition. Bill Clinton apparently credited Harry Truman with starting it, uh, but Harry Truman didn't. In 1947, the National Turkey Federation did give Harry Truman a live turkey for Christmas, not for Thanksgiving. Uh, and that, that did start the tradition of presidents and their families getting live turkeys delivered to them. That did start with Harry Truman in 47, but Truman never pardoned any turkeys for Christmas or Thanksgiving or anything. Uh, we know this because the Truman Library looked back and said so. JFK is actually the first president to spare a turkey from the White House dinner table. During uh, his turkey ceremony, he did send a live bird back to the farm to keep living, but he didn't say anything like he was giving it a presidential pardon. After that, there were some other presidents, including uh, Nixon, who sometimes spared the live bird from having to go to the dinner table. But again, nobody called it a pardon until 1987. Ronald Reagan, president, nearing the end of his two terms. His administration, this is important, is embroiled in the Iran-Contra scandal. So this was President Reagan's seventh turkey ceremony at the White House, and in the middle of it, ruining the holiday feeling, is ABC's absolutely tireless reporter, Sam Donaldson. Right? He just corners Reagan while Reagan's standing there with the turkey about whether or not he's going to pardon two key figures in the Iran-Contra scandal, whether he's going to pardon Oliver North and John Poindexter. And Reagan is somewhere between bewildered and furious. But we found the tape of President Reagan and Sam Donaldson and Charlie the Turkey and the actual origin of presidential turkey pardoning. Watch this. Thanksgiving right in front of him, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Are you going to pardon North and Poindexter, sir? What? Are you going to pardon North and Poindexter? <laughs> It was Reagan. President Ronald Reagan, avoiding talking about the Iran-Contra mess, makes a joke about a Thanksgiving presidential pardon for a turkey that's going to live anyway. And that tape confirms the actual origins of the presidential turkey pardon. And I know, I'm sorry, you were sick of hearing about it, but tell me that wasn't the best new thing in the world. Tell me that wasn't it. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. That does it for us tonight. We'll see you again very soon. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Good evening, Lawrence. Rachel, you're so wrong. We're not sick of hearing about it. You <laughs> can, if you need another five minutes, that, that was fantastic. That was the great. Iran-Contra scandal yeah. gave birth to the turkey pardoning thing. The I know. The question couldn't have been more relevant. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Lawrence. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you, Rachel. Guys. Thanks. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.